In this After Effects tutorial, we'll be animating and rigging this car without any plugins. So once you get your 3D model, kind of like this one, you can see that the main issue is it comes in one piece and we cannot animate the wheels spinning or anything like that. So what we're going to have to do is go into Blender and we're going to separate our 3D layers right here. Now Blender is free, so I do recommend just having it in case you're working in After Effects frequently, just for these little tasks. So this car, for example, in, once I import it here, you can see that we have the layers already separated. So each wheel has its own 3D object. And if you don't, so if the car comes just one piece, here's how you can do it. So let's go ahead and select this mirror, for example, and say we want to separate this from our model. So what I'm going to do is hit tab and we'll go into edit mode. I'll select the faces tool and let me just select a few areas here, hold down shift and just go around my mirror, make sure I select a few areas and then we'll hit control L. So once you see it's all selected, that is basically the mesh. So once again, I'm just going to hit shift, select a couple of areas and control L. Once you got the whole area highlighted, you're going to go ahead and right click separate by selection. And if we exit out edit mode by hitting tab, then we have the mirror in a separate layer. You can see I missed a little piece here, but we can go ahead and fix that. So that is how you can separate it in case it doesn't come as one piece. Now, what I'm going to do here is basically just remove these four objects and I'm going to export this on its own. So file, export, and make sure it's a GLB file. Then let's hit Ctrl Z to bring up the wheels again and we'll remove the main car layer. And I want to keep just one wheel. So I'll select this one, for example, and again, just export it as a single 3D object. Once you've done that, let's go back into After Effects, get rid of this. So right here, we've got the car and wheels. Hit OK, and we'll scale this down all together. So make sure they're both selected. And now is the a bit of annoying part. We just want to make sure we align these two. So let's go into our left view here and we'll select the wheel, move it around here. Let's enable the background just so we can see a tiny bit better. And then we'll go into the front view. Let's move this here. Duplicate this layer. Hit R for rotation and 180 on the y-axis and we'll move it right over here. Let's go back to the left view, make sure it's aligned. So maybe just drag both of our wheels just a tiny bit lower like so and then duplicate it and we'll drag these two in the z-axis to the rear. Okay, so this is pretty much done. And now let's switch back to our active camera and let's actually create one. And now we can start animating and rigging our car. So the simple way is basically each wheel can be animated individually. You just want to make sure you select all of the 3D models here and then we'll control alt home to center each anchor point. That way, once we spin the wheel here, you can see it spins from the center of a wheel. And the same goes for our 3D car here. So it spins from the center. Now, obviously, we can animate each wheel individually. So let's go ahead and hit R and set a keyframe for my X axis. Let's make this about five seconds long and we'll give this three evolutions. So we want it to be going kind of fast. So this is good enough. Maybe actually I'll bump this up to five just so it's actually going a bit faster and you can obviously adjust this. Now, obviously, if you want to have the car moving along with the wheels, what you're going to do is select all four wheels and parent it to your car. Now, in my case, I don't need the car moving because we're going to be faking it using other elements. So if you need to animate something like this, where just the car driving forward, basically, and you want to animate the Z position, so you're good to go like this. But I'm going to show you a different way I like to approach this. So let's make sure nothing is parented here. And on my car here, I'm going to set a wiggle for each of my rotations. So X with rotation here, let's type in wiggle. Open bracket, let's set it to maybe 3, comma 0 0.2. Let's copy this and we'll paste it onto the Z rotation as well. We don't need to make the Y rotation because this is the side to side. So this way, it kind of looks like it's driving on the terrain here. There's always just a tiny bit of shake and it just adds a bit to our shot. So let's go ahead and collapse this. And one more thing, if you want to 
complicate things just a tiny bit and be able to control the rotation of our front wheels, what I'm going to do is create a new null object and let's name this front. We can also go ahead and rename the wheels just so we don't get confused. So I'm just going to do this for the sake of the tutorial. Now let's make this null a 3D null and we'll switch to the bottom view here. I'll hit R and I will rotate the Y axis just 90 degrees and I want to basically set it somewhere around here. So let's drag this here, zoom in a tiny bit and I'm just going to position this right about here. Now I'm also going to select it and hit Control Alt Home just so the anchor point is also in the center of my null object. Then we'll duplicate this and we'll drag this right here for my other wheel. And then we'll align them. Let me just rename this to right. So my front left will be parented to the front left null and the front right going to be parented to the front right. So hopefully this isn't too confusing. And then we'll switch back to the main camera here. So now if we have it sort of animated by moving here, we can select these two nulls and rotating the Y rotation sort of making a turn so it won't mess up the wheel rotation as well you can see it keeps on spinning and this is just if you want to animate it sort of rotating left and right so this is our basic sort of rig here now again if you want to animate the car moving as well all you have to do is make sure the front and left nulls are attached to our car layer and these two as well so the wheels that are following are attached to the main car and then once we animate the position you can see that everything is going to move with the car as well as you're able to make the turns and basically this is a pretty cool rig and hopefully it wasn't too complex to set up but this is a pretty simple way I found and I hope it was easy to explain. Now let me just go ahead and set up this scene here so like I mentioned we don't have the car actually moving it's going to be staying in place now how do we make it look fast? And we do this by first adding a background. So let's make sort of like a kind of background here. We might adjust it later. And also gonna make a floor layer just so we can have it there. Let's name this floor. And I'm gonna make it a 3D layer. Let's rotate it 90 degrees and scale this up. And let's go to the beginning here and just drag it below our tires. So right about there, then we'll create a light. Make sure it's an environment light because we are working in advanced 3D. And I'm going to hit AA on my floor layer. And where it says accept shadows, I'm going to switch it to only. So now it's basically like a matte layer and it's only displaying the shadows. Let me just rotate my light here so it kind of makes sense. Maybe right about there. All right, so this will do. Now to add the sort of illusion of speed, let me go ahead and create a new solid and we'll call this particles. And we're going to be using the particle world effect, not the particle system, but the particle world. Now let's go ahead and isolate this so we can easily see this. And I'm going to go into the grid and just disable everything so it's easier to look at. We'll go into the physics here and I'm going to select direction axis. Let's play this back a bit. It just generates a bunch of particles. What I'm going to do is disable the gravity. So set it to zero and let's go into the velocity, increase it just a tiny bit here. Then we'll go into the longevity and set it to 0.2. This is basically how long the particles stay alive and the birth rate. I want it to be pretty low. So maybe 0.05. Yeah, just a few particles like this. Then we'll go into the producer and increase the size of it right about here. I basically want to generate this sort of a field of particles and just moving into a direction here. Let me move the layer as well so it starts off by moving. So right now we just got a streak of particles and we just need to get the right direction. Okay, now I just want to make the particles white so I'm just going to add a fill effect on top and make it white just like that. Let's enable it together. Let me actually make them black just so it's easier to spot right in the scene here. Now let me go into the direction axis and I just want to get the right angle here. So I'll play with the 
y-axis until I find the correct position. Okay, so this seems to work. Now if we enable it to be white again, and maybe just lower the opacity a tiny bit, so set it to 50. Let's also add a slight camera movement, so hit P, hold down Shift and hit A, set to keyframes, and I'm just gonna make an animation of the camera sort of rotating around the car, like so. Alright, so once we play this back, you can see our car has this sort of illusion of driving fast thanks to the particles. And since it's all 3D, you can mess around with the camera and create all sorts of animations. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.